book of Luke, Dr. Luke. We're going to glean from him. We're going to do a, a, a familiar story that you're familiar with, but I'm going to look at it from a Hebrew perspective. Uh, we're going to look at what, what we call the product of son. That's from Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 32. And we're going to read all those verses. And then we're going to look at uh, what Yeshua was trying to teach us in this here. Uh, I, I shared uh, last week how uh, that uh, these two sons represent Ephraim and uh, 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 Judah. Okay, very important that we understand that they represent Ephraim and Judah. Uh, if y'all want to uh, have it, any more information on that, just go back next last week and, and watch those teachings there. So I don't want to go back over that. Uh, Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 15, guys, Luke chapter 15. And we're going to read all the verses, okay? We're going to read all the verses, and then we're going to go back over this story. Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 32. So I hope that you have your Bibles open. Okay, anytime you're ready, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. Luke 15, verse 11. And he said, a certain man had two sons, and the young of them said to his father, Father, Give me the portion of goods that that fell it to me, and he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine mm -hmm. in that land. And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would faint, and he would faint have filled his belly with the husk, and the swine didn't eat, mm -hmm. and no man gave unto him. Mm -hmm. And when he came to himself, he said, how many hard servants of my father have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will rise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned mm -hmm. against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hard servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fattest calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry mm -hmm. for this my son was dead and is alive again he was lost and is found and they began to be merry now his elder son was in the field and as he came and drew nigh to the house he heard music and dancing mm -hmm. and he called one of his of the servants and asked what these things mean what they meant and he said unto him the brother is come and thy father has killed the fattest cat because he hath received his safe him safe and sound and he was angry and would not go in therefore came his father out and and, and entreated him and he answered and said to his father, No, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress. I am any time thy commandments, that yet thou never givest me a kid, that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thou son was come, which thou devoured the living with harlots, and thou hast killed for him the fattest calf, and he said unto him, Son, 
Thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. Mm. It was meant that we should merit, make merry and be glad. For this thy brother was dead and is alive mm. again and was lost and is found. Mm. Father, once again, we ask that by your divine spirit that you would just pour out your wisdom and understanding in this house tonight. That we may see ourselves in this minute drama that you may speak to us. We thank you right now that you are able to do that. We ask that you open our eyes and enlarge our hearts to give us understanding. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Amen and Amen. Now, the first thing that I want to do in this story, uh, this mini drama, is just deal with the name of the parable. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe in some of your books, uh, in, in the King James, mine has... It, it has the lost son. What yours have? Mine have the unrighteous. No, no, I'm wrong. Yours have the. Mine have uh, uh, the parable of the, yeah of the lost lost son. son. Mm -hmm. And we better know this as the prodigal son. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, when we look at the Greek word for prodigal, it means wasted life. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what the word prodigal mean. Wasted life. And so when we have our titles in in you know in the capture of a of a of a story, this is given to us by the translators or those that read the story and thought like, well, this is what it should be called. Yes. So it's not necessary that that's what the name of the story, but that's what they are gleaned from it. Okay. But I wanna I want to change the title uh because I see it fit better as instead of the lost son a compassionate father that's what i want to call that teaching tonight the compassionate father uh -huh. now when you look at this parable here the compassionate father you must understand that yashua is trying to teach us what god is like okay uh -huh. what god is like he is a compassionate father uh, when we go back up to Chapter 15 of Luke, mm -hmm. I want to show you something here in verse 1. Mm -hmm. It says that then drew near unto him all the publicans and what sinners for to hear him. Mm -hmm. And verse 2 says, and the Pharisees and the scribes mumber, saying, This man do what? Receive sinners and he eat with them. Okay, now this whole dialogue want us to understand that though they witnessed that Yeshua received sinners. Hallelujah. That's good right there. Notice that you ain't got to be straight for him to eat with you. Huh? Some people, you got to dress a certain way. You, you have to live in a certain neighborhood. You have to look a certain way for certain people to eat with you. But the Bible wanted to know that Yeshua, huh? he yeah. eat with sinners. Amen? How else can you change or affect somebody in, unless you eat with them? Amen. Mm -hmm. I told us many times if we cannot change that which we avoid. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. We cannot change that we avoid. Mm -hmm. Yeshua, mm -hmm. which the Pharisees was uh what I would put in the category of church folks. Mm -hmm. They had the Bible, they had all know what the Bible says, but they had no love for sinners. The Pharisees would like, listen, we only hang out with Pharisees and, and Sadducees only hang out with Sadducees. We don't hang out with sinners, but Yeshua come to show us what God is like. Amen. So if, if there's any sinners watching, if there's any sinners in the house, you're a candidate for Jesus, Yeshua, to come eat with you. Amen. 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 I remember the story that when there was a, a little man named Zacchaeus was up in the tree. Yeah. He was up in the tree and Yeshua said, Zacchaeus, <laughs> come on down here. Today I'm going to eat at your house. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad that Yeshua, he don't mind stepping by sinner's house and eat with him. Because before he leave, he going to change us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He, 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 listen, he came and had one meal with Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus was converted and said, oh, whew, I'm going to restore all that I took from the all people that are listen, just listen. If you let your sure come eat with you, your life be changed. Amen. 
Oh, hallelujah. That's what we see here. So, so in this episode, getting to the prodigal son or the compassionate father, that, that we see that Yeshua is a man that he don't mind eating with sinners. And we know that John said that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word but God. So Yeshua come to this place to us what God is like. We can argue all day what 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 we think that God is like, but Yeshua come to manifest God in the flesh. Right. And so we always see God hanging out with sinners. Why? Because he understands how can you change that which you avoid? Oh, my goodness. So we see that Yeshua goes into a parable and say, listen, which of you having a hundred sheep? Huh? And one go astray. Would you not? Listen, he valued the one. He valued the one. So now we saying that each sinner is valuable in God's eye. He don't want to lose not any. Mm -hmm. And then we jump down to verse 8 where it says, which, uh, uh, a woman had 10, 10 coins and she lost one. But no, no, she said, I got to find this one here. And when she found it, she rejoiced. Her friends rejoiced with us. Mm -hmm. And so this whole dialogue between these two two sons, these two lost sons, because both of them are lost. You're going to see in this parable, both of them are lost. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to focus on uh, 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 the compassion of the father. And listen, I pray, y'all, that, that we can be able to see, Ms. Marvel, I pray that we'll be able to see the compassion of the father. Watch this here. Because it, help, it opened up that Yeshua used sheep, then he used a woman with coins, mm -hmm. and notice that one had a hundred sheep. Mm -hmm. If you drop to zero, you have ten. Right. One had ten coins, which all that represent is the northern kingdom, mm -hmm. the ten tribes. Wow. That's all it represents. Why? Because mm -hmm. the whole Bible is about gathering the two houses, right. nothing else. Right. That's all it's about. Mm -hmm. And so Yeshua tells us in verse eleven, say a certain man. He don't even name the man. He just say a certain man. Mm -hmm had two sons, yes. Ephraim, yes. huh, and Judah. Now watch this here, how this works out. The younger, the younger of them said to his father, give me the portion that falls to me. Okay, now, now watch here. The young man comes like he, like he, uh, 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 like he earned something, like he deserved something, right? He's coming to the father, and you have to understand this, guys. You got to understand, for the young man to come to his father and ask for his inheritance, what he's saying from a Hebrew perspective, he said, Daddy, drop dead. Wow. Yeah. Like, give me mine. Because why? You don't receive your inheritance. Mm -hmm. Your full inheritance to your parents are died. So the young man is saying, I wish he was dead. See, you don't get that on the serpent until you understand the law of inheritance. Matter of fact, we talked about last week, those two boys, the Menjo boys, you remember the ones that killed their parents? Yeah. Spar, brass, had everything, but, but they killed their parents. Why? They couldn't. Now, they was already being blessed. Nice cars, nice shoes, nice house, but they wanted it all. All. They wanted it all. And so this young man, he was saying, culture. Now, remember this here. Thank you, brother. Remember this here. We have to understand what did this mean to the original audience. Mm -hmm. And I want y'all to see this as a mini drama. Now, Yeshua is teaching. And anybody know that you don't get your inheritance until your daddy dies. Mm -hmm. Then he leaves. So now this young man comes. Now, just think about it. You standing around listening to this here. What are you saying? What you saying inside your mind, this little ungrateful brat? Hmm. Hmm. Think about it. How many people, and the Bible says that, that, that the father gave both of them. Now, the question that I posed the other day, that why didn't the elder son rebuke the younger son? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Was it possible that he was thinking the same thing, mm -hmm. but didn't have the courage? Think about that. Mm -hmm. So, so now the father, now watch this here. I want you to see this here. Because though this represents God himself as the father, and God foreknow all things, he didn't stop the young man 
He didn't say, son, you don't want to do this here. Right, right. He didn't say, son, what, what you mean? Mm -hmm. He didn't even try to talk the young man out of it, did he? Mm -hmm. The same way that when we make poor decisions, does God try to talk us out of it? No. He let us go on and do it. Or go, go ahead. He already told us in his word what not to do, but we still want to go ahead. So now, now think about this. How do you think the father felt? How do you think he felt when his son is unsatisfied with being at the house and he wants his inheritance and he wants it now? And the Bible said that the father, what the father did, the father divided it up between both. Now, I want you to catch this here because what I want you to see in this drama here is that we're dealing with a family tragedy. <coughs> we're dealing with a family situation. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I want you to see this and see, this has to be real to us. We're dealing with a family situation where one son wants the inheritance, and then why did then the other say, no, nah, Father, I don't want it. No, 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 Father, mm -hmm. I don't want it. Because for him to accept it, he agreed with what the younger brother was saying. Am I right? Mm -hmm. you, you understand? This is deep right here. Yeah. So what we have here, guys, is a broken relationship. Would you agree? A broken relationship, a miss, a family that's out of order, a family that we got a young man who's coveted, he's greedy, he's selfish, and the older brother ain't stepping up doing nothing about it. So we have a broken relationship between, and watch this, the same way today, we have a broken relationship between God and humanity. And he letting us do what we want. We take his gifts, his ability to play sports, huh? Sing, and we go into the world and tell the daddy, take a hike. So this is what's going on here. So he, he divided their gifts up between them, right? And the Bible says that that in verse 13, and not many days after 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 this, that the young man gathered all together and took his journey into a four country and there wasted his something with rotted living. Now watch this here. So he took what the father gave him. Okay? Yeah. And he went far away. Let's deal with that for a moment. So he went to a far away. That's the first thing that kids want. I want to get far away from my parents. Why? Because they don't want no, no what? No dealing, no authority, no responsibility. Oh, I'm 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 teaching good. Yeah. See, I already know how this site is because 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 people tune in here and they want to hear some prosperity, how God's gonna bless you, how God no no no. This ain't the kind of site here. We're talking about real down hard living, and you're gonna see yourself in these two boys in, in the minute. So now, here's this young man. He took the father gifts mm -hmm. and did what? Went into a yeah. far country. Think about that. Didn't want no response. I'm going to get further away from the house that I can. And he wasted his living. And now remember, if we're going to uh, uh, use the name product of son, how many of us people today are wasting our life in Hollywood? Wow. Wasting our life in sport. Wasting our life with rotted living. And the father just, you just left the father. You left. You see what I'm talking about? See, we want because I know some people right now wasting their life away yeah. and rotted living. Yeah. Wasting their life away. So he wasted, he went into a fun country. Now watch how this works. And we had spent all, notice that. Yeah. Yeah. See, it ain't till we bankrupt spiritual we down. until that we, he spent all. See, listen, and listen, and the father, oh, this, is, this is, we, he had spent all and there rose a famine. Notice that. Here, here that word of famine again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What you got to say? You know how. Oh, 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 microphone. I gotta get Oh, you know how you keep doing, you keep doing your last, and he just, just let it happen and just heap it on your head. Uh -huh. In other words, he just bring it and, 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 and give you delusion. Yeah. Yeah. And just let that power come over you and just let you just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if we see if we see this as 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 the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, I had that question. Uh huh. What is the, when you say Ephraim and Judah? That means Judah is northern and Ephraim. Right. Even the younger son, 
Uh, and, and I showed that the other day, and I'm going to show it in a minute. I'll show you again. As a matter of fact, I can give you where it said that Ephraim is my firstborn. Oh, Did you read that the other day? Yeah, that. Ephraim is my firstborn. So okay. Ephraim is, is, is the younger, okay? Right. right. And now keep in mind, because you're going to see in this story, mm -hmm. Judah came back home. Remember? Uh -huh. right, Around right. in 586, 536. Mm -hmm. So Judah came back home. So Judah is a picture of the, the southern kingdom went back into the land. Right. But not everybody, remember, under Ezra and Nehemiah and them? Yeah, all of them. So that represents right. Judah. Judah. So when Israel, uh, when Yeshua comes in the land, Judah is in the land. Right. But the northern kingdom, Israel, never came back in the land. Uh -huh. And that's why he said, I came, I didn't come but for the lost yeah. sheep of the yeah. house of Israel. Mm -hmm. So they understand this here. They really do. Yeah. So, so notice that was a famine. Now, soon they hear, if you was an Israelite, Hebrew Israelite, when you hear famine, what you thinking about? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the children of Israel, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Then you think about Amos 8, 11. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That the Most High said that, 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 that in the last days he would do what? Send a so famine. Send a famine, but huh? not, a, not a food, food. Or, uh -huh. but of the word. Word. Mm -hmm. So, so all these idioms or these things begin to come through your mind, like in our culture, if somebody say, man, a tornado, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, a hurricane, yeah, well, we yeah. think about Carla, we think all this, yeah. you know what I'm saying, all this kind of stuff, yeah. why? Because we've been through those things. Right. But if we've been through famine, then we're like, we'll think about famine, right? That's so right. very important, this key word, famine. So there rose a famine in that land. Mm -hmm. What land? The land that he went to, okay? He got far away from the father. Yeah. The way he got far away from the father. And then that land, and then there was a famine in that land. Okay, now I wonder who caused the famine. Yeah, caused that famine. Huh? It's the same. He's gonna pile it on. I wonder who caused the famine. Yeah, I caused that famine. In that land. Mm -hmm. And he began to be in want. Mm -hmm. See? So you want this? It, 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 he has to cause things to occur in our life. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and I don't know where you at right now. Maybe you used to be up here. Maybe now you're down here. Don't blame it on the economy. Don't blame it on economics. No. Don't blame it on this hill. Maybe y'all caused a famine. You used to eat good. You used to drive a nice car. I mean, you never worried about nothing. But you know that you was far away from God. Yes, you was in church. Yes, you were singing, but but your mind, you was far away from God. All you was going through was the emotion. I'm gonna show you how the how the younger brother, Miss Marvel, all he was in the house, but all he was going through was the motion. That's, mm -mm -mm. right. That's right. Watch this here. Oh, I'm this mm. <laughs> so there rose a famine, verse 15, and he went and joined himself to to a citizen of that country. Right. See, it's amazing. Notice that. So now he went and joined himself to a citizen mm -hmm. in that country. And, and, and he sent him to work in his field to feed swine. Boy, ain't never worked it. Ain't never did that. Listen, you'll find yourself, listen, and won't you'll find yourself doing stuff that you never did before. That was probably against his whole... That's against Torah. Torah. That's what I'm See, That's so not only that, the boy breaking Torah. Yeah, he's messing with the swine. The boy is breaking Torah. Mm -hmm. He's breaking toes. Now, I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit because I, I want to show you something here. So now, watch this here because I want you to see, I want you to see the compassion of the Father, okay? Now, it says here that that that, that, that the young man, he came to his senses, right? Mm -hmm. It says here in verse 17, and when he came to his senses, mm -hmm. he said, notice this here, you yeah. got to come to your senses. Yeah. And I don't care if you find yourself in a pig pen. He came to his senses in a pig pen. Wow. Doesn't matter where you come to your senses, but come to your senses. Come. come to your senses. Come. Notice what this is. I, I, I want you to see. Now, remember, he's a son, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, how many high servants of my father have, have bread enough to spare, and I'm about to die out here. Yeah. See, notice this here. Notice this here. The, the boy coming to his senses. Yeah. Now, when he begin to come to his senses, he think about home. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Now he's coming by home. So he knows what's at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I want to say here that as we deal with the uh, 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 as parents, okay, 
and, and as man, because I know we're strong, I want to, as I, 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 I look at this here, I want to make sure, Ms. Marva, that, that no matter what my kids do, that I want to always let them know that they can come, come back, back home. home. That's it. That's it. Mm. That's I don't want my sons to think that they have to be so righteous and so upright and so this here. Yes, no parent, no parent wants their child to know that. But I'm saying I want my son to know that if he go out there and get on drugs, that he can come back home and get his life back together. I don't want my son to say that I can't go back home because you're going to see here that the young man was ashamed. See, I don't want my son, listen, parents, we shouldn't want, listen, don't, don't be so holy that your kids, when they blow it, and they, some of them will, okay? Mm -hmm. Always make a way that, listen, mm -hmm. son, when you make a mistake, not if, because life is about learning, mm -hmm. that you can come back home, and I will be there for you. I will have compassion, and this is what I want you to see in this story, the compassion of the Father. Watch this here. Mm -hmm. Verse 18, watch it, it says, uh, now, as he began to come back home, watch this here. He said, verse 18, he said, I will arise. That's the first thing. First, he began to come to his senses. Then now some action to it. I will rise and go to my father's house. Uh-huh. And I will say, now, this is what he's saying. I will say to my father, father, I have what? I have sinned against heaven. So now, this moment, he's rehearsing. <laughs> hey, 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 y'all know how he's rehearsing. He's rehearsing what he's going to say to his father. I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Mm -hmm. Then this is how we all be. This is how we do. This is exactly how we do. I am not worthy. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy. See? See, listen, listen, I'm telling you. We are not sons and daughters of the Most High by our performance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's by Him, His grace, His compassion upon you and I. My son, Jace, is not my uh, son based on him taking out the trash, right, right. doing his tours. No, 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 no. He's my son by birth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether he's driving me crazy or whatever, he's still my son. And so listen to this this young man that maybe you felt found yourself in a position where you find you said well you know i'm 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 gonna pray but i just don't feel worthy mm -hmm. a lot of people have done that mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. this young man find himself that he's not worthy i'm gonna be i just just hide me don't don't take me back as your son just hide me as a servant yeah well let's see how the father is going to respond to this here Verse 20, and he rose and came to his father, but when but when he but but when he was yet a great way off. Do you see that? His father saw him. Now, if this is the picture of Yah, the father, look what it says. When he was afar off, the father saw him and did what? Had compassion. That's the name of the teaching tonight. The compassion of the father. He had compassion. He had compassion. Mm -hmm. And this is the only time in the Bible that it shows God running. Because it's the picture of God, Elohim. Mm -hmm. And ran and fell on him. Amen. He didn't say go in the house and take a shower. Mm -hmm. Clean yourself up. You smell like pigs. Mm -hmm. Remember this boy was in the pig pen. Amen. So he know that. He, he the father. See, some of listen, thank you. Some of you think that you gotta clean your act up. So before God, the father hugs you. Mm -mm. We have a beautiful picture right here. This boy was a wayward, wasted his money, wasted the father inheritance. The father, watch here. Nowhere in the conversation that the father ever said, son, I don't appreciate that. Father, son, I don't appreciate that. Son, I don't appreciate that. The father just ran towards him. Can you imagine God running towards you? Because you make, listen, we say if we return to him, he will return to us. Am I right? right. We say, James said, listen, if you turn towards God, he will turn towards you. And this young man, 
though he was a wasted life, but he began to go back home. And the father saw him and had compassion on him and kissed him. Isn't that something? Intimate relationship right here. Can you see a broken relationship being restored here? Huh? All you have to do, listen, all you and I have to do is recognize where we at. As he told Adam, where are you, Adam? This young man lost everything. Huh? And, he, and, and listen, he came to a place where he wanted. And maybe you in a situation right now. Listen, I'm listen. You can be in a position where you know that you wronged the father, but the father still have enough compassion for you. This is what I'm trying to show you. He has enough compassion for us if we just return to him. And this drama ain't even over. Watch this here. So now, and the father did, you know what he did to him. He says here, had compassion, run to him and kiss him. That's intimate. And he said, and the son, now watch here. The son still think he's a servant. Right, right, right. And the son said it to, and, and to him, father, I have sinned against heaven and in and, and, and thy sight. I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's how we feel that when we have wronged God, right. the heavenly father, we feel like I'm not worthy. Anybody ever felt like that? That you're not worthy? Well, oh, I know some of you think that you're worthy. <laughs> but this young man realized that what he has done wasn't right. But watch this celebration. Y'all know the story. There is a celebration. The father, listen, Miss Marvel, nowhere in the conversation that the father ever, the father just like, I ain't paying attention to none of that. Right. He told the servant, man, put, listen, the first thing he did, he clothed him. He said, bring forth the best robe. Notice that I love this here because the first thing the father did was clothe his shame. Yeah. Yeah. He clothed him. Not just a robe, but the best robe. Mm -hmm. And put it on him. And then he put a ring, authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was throwing his authority back. Right. Put on shoes. Preparation for the gospel. See, his shoes. He clothed him. Yeah. Then he say, bring forth now. Listen, there's a party going on. There's a celebration. And then he says, he'll bring forth the fetid calf, kill it, and let's eat. Let's, let's celebrate. That's how God want to do when we come back. He want to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, verse 24, for this, he said, for this my son was dead. That's a key point, dead. What he saying? When we away from him, the father of truth, the father of life, we are dead dead in our sins and is alive but when we return we're alive again he was lost and found and they begin to be satisfied they're rejoicing now i want y'all to pay attention to this here because where are you gonna find yourself up in this story here we have a scene gonna change here because now we have this son the younger son returned home now we have a situation here Okay, we have what I would call Miss Marble. We have what I would call an outward sinner. Mm -hmm. We know that th the younger son has sinned, mm -hmm. but then we have those sinners that in the church, but they don't look like they sinned. All right, huh? Mm -hmm. They are infer, mm -hmm. and we're going to see this here. So we have an outward sinner, mm -hmm. then the infer self righteous. Yeah. Watch how the younger, I mean, the older brother is. So now there's a party going on. Now, verse 25, now his elder son was in the field. Wow. And as he came to draw near to the house, he heard music and dancing. Mm -hmm. Verse 26, and he called one of the servants and, and asked him, what is this thing? What's all this noise about? Mm -hmm. Huh? What is all this noise about? And he said it to, and to him, thy brother is come. Can you imagine the, the celebration? How the servant just excited. Thy brother has come. Mm -hmm. And has come and our father has killed the fatted calf because he has received him safely and sound. This is the servant talking. He, <laughs> he rejoicing. Yeah. Now watch this here. Watch the attitude. Yeah. How Listen, how are you going to act when a young person that been in the church or a person that went away from the church, got pregnant or whatever it may be, you know, on drugs, and then he being restored. Mm 
-hmm. How are you going to receive that person back? Mm -hmm. How how are you going to receive it? Listen, listen to the attitude of this self-righteous brother. Mm -hmm. Verse 28, and he was what? Angry. angry. Mm -hmm. Are you angry when your sister, when your brother get right? Mm -hmm. He was so angry, Miss Marvel. Watch this here. Mm -hmm. How are you angry? He's so angry and would not do what? He wouldn't go inside the house. Now, let's bring this to the 21st century. It's like to, to, the 21st century would be like, I'm so angry. I ain't going to church. Huh? I ain't going to church. I'm mad. Because I've been in church all my life. And my sister leave and, and go get pregnant. Huh? And then she come back. After her husband then left her, now everybody rejoicing and celebrating because she back. But I've been singing in the choir. I've been cooking. I've been doing all this here. And they're having a party for her. And I ain't, listen, this is what's going on. I've been going to church. I've been more in the church grass. And then he come back, oh, crackhead himself. And then they throw a party for him. That's what's going on here. Yeah. See, people don't see that. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what's going on here. He's angry and would not go in. Mm -hmm. Now, this whole incident, I want you to see again the compassion of the father. Mm -hmm. He would not allow the younger son to be a servant. Right. He threw a party. He was excited mm -hmm. that his younger son, who was dead, now is alive. But his older brother don't have the same attitude. Mm -hmm. He was angry, would not go in. Watch this here. Therefore came his father out and pleaded with him. So now, watch this here. Miss Mama, mm -hmm. watch this here. So now, there's music in the house. There's singing. There's dancing. And then the servant had to come and say, listen, your older son won't even come in. Now, the father got to leave the guest. Because remember, he's the guest, right? Right. right. Now, that's, that's, that's not good in the Eastern world because uh -huh. hospitality. Now, I got to leave my guest. To go out and pacify you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went yeah. out to pacify, to talk to his older son. Verse 29 say, and he answered and said to his yeah. father, notice this here, lo, these many years do I do what? Sir, see, he saw himself as a servant. Yeah. Yeah. He saw himself as a servant too. Know why this thing I got the battery on now? He saw himself as a servant too. Make sure this thing is about to lie on me. I don't know what it is. He saw himself as a servant. Okay, that's better. All right, I guess. All right. If it dies, it dies. Ain't nothing to say about it. But he saw himself as a servant. So notice the younger brother, I mean the older, I mean, yeah. The, Younger brother, when he was coming back, he said, I just be a servant. Yeah. So what we have, what we have here, Ms. Marble, what we have is that these boys, they both saw themselves as a servant and not a son. Right, right, right. You see, I'm a son of the heavenly father. I serve in his kingdom, mm -hmm. but I'm not, I'm not a servant. I'm a son right. who served my father. And so he saw, he said, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress any of thy commandments, and yet thou never gave me a party, a kid, a celebration, that I might party with my friends. Mm -hmm. So now we see that he had a little problem with his brother. <laughs> and notice how the father has to deal, notice how his real heart's coming out. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. You, you see that? Yeah. But what was and to show the out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. Watch this verse here. But as soon <laughs> as not my brother, but as soon, I'm not sure even die, okay. But as soon as thy son, not my brother, but as soon as thy son was come, which which devoured thy living with harlots, prostitutes. How did he know that? Uh, thou has killed. The fatty cow. Uh -huh. He's jealous. Yes. So now he ain't right because his heart not right. Heart not right. Mm -hmm. 
He's not loving his brother. He, he's now, 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 not one time it said that he was praying for his brother, interceding for his brother. It wasn't happy that he came no, he wasn't happy. It would happen. I mean, we get that same stuff back today that you wouldn't happy because you know that your sister that left the church, the girl can sing way better than you. And now she come back with a child. And now you think about, you know that she can sing. She still can sing. She still has the guilt. She, yeah, she got to get herself right. Now you really jealous because you know that she going to take your place. But she ain't even take it like that. She's so happy to, to be out of this abusive relationship if you knew what she went through. So all oh, you see her as a threat to your singing. Right. But then you find out later that your sister was in an abusive relationship. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -mm -mm. Have so his compassion is wasn't there. His compassion was not there. His compassion was not there. And verse 31, and he said it to his son, son, thou ever with me, mm -hmm. and all that I have is thine. Mm -hmm. It was meet that we should have a party, celebrate, and be glad. Why? For thy brother was dead and is alive and was lost and is found. Now, I, I want y'all to see this here. Because notice how this drumble. Mm -hmm. All we are left with is the party in the house, mm -hmm. celebration. Mm -hmm. The father out in the field talking to the elder son, mm -hmm. but it but it closed like that. Oh. Why? Because they want you to decide. Oh. You decide oh, you know what you think happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's a family discord here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here's the thing: if this represents Judah and Israel, right, mm -hmm. Northern Kingdom, mm -hmm. how am I'm going to feel? when we've been in here laboring for years and years and years mm -hmm. and people that we know knows what we're doing is true and they come in later years later 10 years later 15 years how are you going to treat them mm -hmm. how are you going to treat them and you didn't even know they had the gift like that mm -hmm. the gift that blow you like you, you didn't know that right 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 you know and so how are we going to feel when people just coming in? Mm -hmm. Are we going to put our chest in like, you don't even know Hebrew. <laughs> you don't even know, you don't even know the, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know the feast. No, you don't know, you don't know so, yeah, you see what I'm talking about? So how are we going to feel when our family members start coming in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are, are we going to rejoice? rejoice? Or are we going to be like the elder brother? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like the elder brother. You know, just think about that. Something to something to think about. Something to think about. I'm going to read this here, and we're going to close. Uh, a call to action. The parable gives a strong call to action. Each person must understand God, that is Elohim, as a compassionate father who yearned for a strong and meaningful relationship with his children. There are indeed two types of sinners. The outward righteous sinner is just as wrong as the blunt, wicked, evildoer. The cause of the wrong is rooted in a broken relationship. The elder brother is pausing with hatred and resentment. Mm. I'm going to read that again. The elder brother is pausing with, with hatred and resentment. Though outward righteous Inward, he is great, is in great need, mm -hmm. but it, it looked like he got it all together, right? Yeah, he down there serving at the church. He said, Father, I've been in your field. I've been doing this. I've been doing this. I ain't never transgressed any of your commandments. Mm -hmm. But yet, inward, he had resentment towards his brother. Yeah, and sometimes, watch this thing, Holy Ghost. Sometimes you don't even know until that person come back. Mm -hmm. Huh? Until that person come back. Mm -hmm. See, long as he was gone, he was the man. That's my son. That's my son. That's my son. But then soon his brother come back. The brother revealed his 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 heart. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. see, see, heart. he's serving like the that. father like a bank account. Mm -hmm. See the finance benefits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the elder brother is pausing with hatred and resentment. Mm -hmm. 
though outward righteous, inward he is he is in great need. He must not only be restored to a right relationship with his father, but forgive his brother. Mm. Forgiveness and reconcile between individuals greatly influence their relationship with God. In other words, how did that young man, elder brother, really have a good relationship with his father? Nope. Nope. It was just a show. Mm -hmm. He was working. He was earning salvation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Works. Works. Good word. Mm -hmm. Works. Mm -hmm. So these two concepts permit thoughts of the parable. God or Elohim is compassion. He is a compassion father. That's why I call it the compassion father. Mm -hmm. Sin is a broken relationship. The parable first and foremost portray Elohim, that is God, as a compassion parent who longs for a strong, healthy relationship with two of his sons. So the drama of this family crisis leads the listeners on a path of urgent decision. Mm -hmm. Think about that when you think about this parable here. Mm -hmm. So everyone must decide how he or she will respond to the love of the father in this parable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sons is instructed never to be ashamed to return home. So, so once again, the call to action is urgent. Men and women must seek Elohim face in the same way as a wayward child come back home. No matter what wrong has been done, each must recognize his or her need and seek Elohim, God the Father. Father, we bless you. We thank you right now that you have showed us, demonstrated that, that we all, we can be both of these. Wasted our life, come back home, and you blessed us. Felt that in our sinful life that we're not even worthy. I know I didn't say that before. Sinning so much and try to pray like I'm, I ain't even worthy. Just, just give me whatever. You know, we had those kind of attitudes. But I'm glad that you bypassed all that stuff that we were saying. We was never worthy. Hallelujah. We were never worthy. It's Yeshua made us worthy. And so, Father, I think that you showed compassion for this young man. And, and I know, Father, to us who are listening, those who are in the house that feel far away from you, Father, they, they, they took their gift their inheritance and just went far away. But now, Father, that they're, they're in need. And I just pray, Father, that they'll be able to see that you are standing, that you are waiting for us to return to you, Father. And I just pray, Father, for those that are returning home, that we will not be as the elder son, be hateful and resentment, because we've been in here laboring and, 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 and ministry and learning this and learning this here. No. We ought to show compassion. So I pray, Father, that when our family members begin to come home to return back to you, that we would not be like the elder brother, that we would be not like that, that we would show compassion because you have received us back home in our way with life. And so we bless you and we thank you. In the mighty name of Yeshua, I'm a shield. I mean, and I mean. Thank y'all, guys. I pray that something was said here yeah. uh, that was just spoke to you this evening. Uh, that that remember that the Father is compassion, yeah. that He has compassion for His children that will come to their senses and return back home. You ain't got to turn no flips. You ain't got to turn no cardboard. You got to do none of that. Just come back home. Draw near to Yah, and He will draw near to us. Amen. And so I just thank you this evening for joining us. If you like this teaching, please post it and share it with family and friends. Let's go to the Ronnie blessing. Yisrael, may Jehovah bless thee and keep thee. May Jehovah make his face shine upon thee and be glory to thee. May Jehovah lift up his kind upon thee and give thee peace. May Jehovah destroy all the chaos in your life. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Amin and Amin. Thank you. Thank you, my brothers and sisters, for tuning in. If the Most High say the same, we'll see you back here Thursday. Amen. Amen. That was good.